you for asking me that question. So during course, the course of my, my working over the recent years with hypophosphatasia, um, when I actually started with those most severely affected patients with the bone manifestations, I finally learned that there are, they all, all have ancestors and family members who are also complaining about weakness, about fatigue, even though they don't have an, an overt bone phenotype and an overt bone manifestation. And when I talk to uh, the parents of the severely affected children who um, by definition were heterozygously affected, I also learned that they had they had very, very, a very consistent picture of clinical complaints, though they also were com um, reporting about pain, um, generalized pain that could not be very well localized, um, about fatigue. And so I, I assessed that further, and it, it seems that this is something colleagues um, are observing all across the globe. And, and when we look at the genotype, we're now learning that heterozygously affected patients are no longer just carriers, but they have m symptoms, even though milder symptoms, clinically milder symptoms than the patients we had in mind, let's say, 20 years ago. And the, the beneficial treatment we're having now was eventually developed, the enzyme replacement therapy was eventually developed to help those um, most severely affected children with a life-threatening condition with severe bone manifestation. And what my, my vision for the future was to really establish a treatment for everyone. Um, for all those patients who are suffering from compromised alkaline phosphatase activity. And saying that, we have to learn that the the deficiency may be different in individual patients and maybe we will come to a point that we will substitute the, the enzyme to the extent as individually needed. So that was actually the vision. Like, for, to give you an example, like in, in um, hypothyroidism, um, with individualized dose, um, how many, uh, how much L thyroxine the, the individual patient really needs and maybe we can come to a point where we just uh, make up for the deficit of alkaline phosphatase an individual, individual patient may suffer from. So that was actually a, a, a very, very proficient perspective for the future.